push the body. I was thinking about that today. My body is is absolutely aching. I was thinking about taking some aspirin. I'm not a big big aspirin popper or anything like that. And I don't like Tylenol. I like, like uh, I guess I, I like pain. <laughs> no, I, I don't like, uh, you know, I like the body to be able to heal naturally. But I was thinking, you know, a show like this is a great way to push your body to the limit. It's no different than it. A marathon runner, and I always use that analogy, you know? Getting into this low, low body fat, going low carb, pushing yourself. It's not easy. Today is calves. Calves posing in some high intensity interval training. So, back in this beautiful space we call bodybuilding.com. Let's get to work. No, no 15 minute warm up, no, uh, just a nice stretch. Hello, hello. Good, how are you doing? Good, You just wrapped up a few minutes ago? Yeah, I think I always do a little extra cardio. Oh, for sure, gotta get that 15 minutes in. So, we're gonna do a little calf, calf day, in bodyblend.com, hanging out with the employees. I love this place. Honestly, it's been open for like a week and a half. I haven't been here so much. The only problem is I don't know if they have any calf exercises. So we're going to three exercises today for calves. Now, calf training is unique in that you really, I mean, you have the soleus and the gastrocnemius. So the soleus is going to be this, it's going to attach into that Achilles tendon and it's going to run all the way up and underneath your gastrocnemius, which is your the, the upper part. You will be in here at least three, four days a week training calves, not as an afterthought into your workout. So many people train them as an afterthought in their workouts. And if they're a lagging or a weak body part, you just can't throw some extra nonchalant sets in there. It has to be focused, priority principle training. Um, so today, you're gonna see me in a gym. So in order to shock the calf, you really need to go full range of motion. Um, let's jump into it right now. Let's do, uh, we're gonna warm up, starting off, the, the machine standing calf raise, really working on that gastrocnemius. One thing when you train calves, you want to have a shoe. You want to have a shoe that is very flat. Um, you know, a lot of modern day athletic shoes aren't the best to train calves in because they have that high heel that doesn't allow you to, to really feel it. So I'm actually going to do calves. These are these are those five five fingered shoes. They're another really good one. Um, the more toe movement you have, the more concentration up on the calves you have. So we're gonna jump right into it. If you don't have a calf, a standing calf machine, find a Smith machine. Get a couple of uh, if you have bumper plates or just normal plates. Stick under those heels enough to where you can get a full stretch. school because we didn't have a standing calf machine but this is not to say you can't get a full a full calf workout here so you just want to make sure it's in the right area my left foot needs to come forward just a little bit more but again when we do these we're gonna be straight legged straight knee you know, we're not gonna be if, if you have that flexion in your knee um, you know, you're not stretching on that soleus enough. So we're gonna be concentrating on that full range of motion. You need to go all the way down. So you need to have something high enough to where when you're all the way down, your heels still aren't quite touching. Right in there. Really focusing on coming up all the way, stretching all the way. You 
know you're an athlete when, uh, you know, whether it's stairs walking up in the morning or even when warming up on calves, those ankles start popping. All those sprained ankles in basketball and football, things are tight in there. But in between each set, you're gonna see me just kind of walking it out like so, forcing, driving my heel all the way down, and then coming up all the way, just doing some, some full reps with nothing and no, uh, no weight on my back. But calves are definitely something, you know, in a bodybuilding contest or physique, you can't have, you know, they shouldn't ideally match your arms. Now, if my arms are flexed, they're about 19. Just static, they're about 17. My calves are, are 17 and a half, even when I flex them, they don't change. So calves are, are an area some people just struggle with. Naturally skinny legs. Um, Arnold had naturally skinny calves, so what did he do? Priority principle, train them every day. Trained them heavy, trained them light, trained them all sorts of different rep ranges. You know, it just it's that do anything mentality. That when you step foot in the gym, there's nothing that's gonna stop you from your goals. And even this small of a muscle as calves, you have to have that mentality. It has to be, you know, it can't be like I said, today is my high intensity cardio day. Not even a, a weight training day. I don't need to step foot in the gym. I, I do my sprints on the track, but I come in here because I want these calves. It's really easy to be like, oh, just calves. No. To me, I'm thinking, shit, my calves are gonna grow. Three intense sets. All the way down. Rolling that ankle forward, coming up all the way. Holding at the top for a pause. Driving that heel all the way down. The set really doesn't start until they start burning. And then, in between, just a stretch. All right. Our second exercise, obviously, just your seated, your standard seated calf raise. This is working more of that soleus muscle. Um, you know, there's ideas on you know which one has more fast twitch or slow twitch muscle in there. I train the calves just like anything else. Sometimes I go as low as eight reps, sometimes as high as 25. Get that mind right. It's about the muscle, it's not about the weight. So again, you see my toes. Toes are gonna be barely hanging off the top of this. The ball of the feet is where I want all the pressure on. And as I come up, the weight transfers more onto the ball of the foot even onto that big toe, and as I roll forward, the calves come up and I squeeze and I hold, and then it's back down. I like to talk with my hands a lot. I don't know what they're doing here. I don't know what they're doing. Here we go. All the way down. One, two, three, four, five. Stretch, six, seven, Hey. Nobody likes having chicken legs. You know, calves are, calves are one of those things. Calves, wide shoulders, and a good midsection. You show me that somebody has good calves, a wide shoulder, a nice tiny waist, a six pack, and I'll show you somebody that has an eye catching physique. It's always about that X frame. Just to throw it in there. After you've after you've exhausted, oh, after you've exhausted, and you know you can't do any full range of motion, then it's okay to do some partials in there. But only until not until you've uh, gone to complete failure with the full range of motion. Legs and calves. I don't care if you're a physique competitor, I don't care if you're a bodybuilder, I don't care if you're a guy walking on the street who just likes to lift for recreational purposes. Don't neglect your legs or calves. Two, three, four, five, and then it's impartial. Two, three, four. It's our second. Our second calf exercise in the books. 
Kev's starting to get all vascular. It's almost game time. Calf should be, uh, you know, nice and tired for our last exercise here. We're using this one more. It's kind of a, a modified donkey, um, a donkey calf raise. We're doing it on a leg press, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be keeping my body, trying to keep it parallel with the platform, much like you would in a donkey calf raise. So my back is actually up leaning here. And this one, you really get a good stretch right at the back of your knee, all the way down. And always control. And these ones, more than any other, really pull on that upper part. Calf workouts, they don't take very long, but they should be completely exhausted. Doing right around 10 to 12 sets for him. You can go up as high as 16 sets for him Sundays. Doing that three or four days a week, your calves will grow. Especially if you have that mind muscle connection. Alright, last set, toes. Slanted inwards, really working on the outside part of that calf. And you can see I get I get little knots, muscles. They just knot up. I don't know if they're muscles or cartilage. I've had them there ever since uh, since high school. I used to freak out my track coach saying that uh, I couldn't run in track practice because, just in practice because my legs were cramping and I'd show, show them that and they'd always, I'd always get out of it. Such a dog back in the day. You can see my toes, the reason I do them with no shoes, I'm just gripping more. With my toes, getting a better flexion and extension because of it. Some partials. Oh. And that's... All you need for calves, you know, if they're really lagging, mine aren't lagging, um, you know, they're not one of my, they're not my weakest body part, but if they're really lagging, uh, you know, throw in at least four sets for each of these. And remember to stretch out in between, 